Alright, so the Dokkan V-Jump leak for this month just came out a few hours ago, and at first glance, there's really nothing that interesting about it, you know, like at least nothing that we didn't already know, right? So at the top, we have a section about the Part 1 LRs, the uh, LR Blue Boys, and the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. On the other side, they're talking about the Part 2 LRs that just came out last night, the Kaoken Goku, and the Great Ape Vegeta, by the way. I will be doing a summoning video for them later today, so definitely stay tuned for that. And if you scroll down a bit here, uh, here they're talking about the free-to-play units from the anniversary. So the LR, Gohan, Goten, and Trunks, the Goku and Chi Chi, as well as the uh, Vegeta and Bulma, and how they're all going to be getting Extreme Z Awakenings, as expected. So all this stuff is just not new, right? We already knew about the LRs, we already knew about the free-to-play units, and uh, when I first saw this scan, I was like, okay, so it's basically just a recap of like stuff that's already happened, right? But then, I saw this tiny corner on the bottom right here, and to me, this is arguably the most exciting news to come out of this entire anniversary so far. The third anniversary, Int LR Vegito and Fizz LR Gogeta are officially getting Extreme Z Awakenings, guys. I'm assuming in part three of the anniversary, so we'll have to wait for a couple of weeks, but this is... <laughs> this is huge, man. This is exactly what I wanted from this anniversary. Like, if I had to make a list of my most wanted Extreme Z Awakenings, for the 7th anniversary, these guys would be right at the top of the list. And the crazy thing is, they're not even that bad. You know, like the Gogeta and the Vegito, obviously they are dated at this point. Obviously they're not nearly as broken as they were when they first came out 4 years ago. But I still use both of these units pretty regularly on a bunch of teams. You know, like for fusions obviously, I'm always including these guys. And then I'm using these guys on Batara, on Super Saiyans, on uh, Majin Buu Saga, so on and so forth. And their defense still holds up okay on most events. Their damage is not crazy, but still pretty good. So the fact that they're getting Extreme Z Awakenings now is just really exciting, man. So I can't wait to see exactly what they do with these EZAs. I'm assuming this will make them two of the best LRs in the game, at least like top 10, top 15, something like that. And uh, yeah, I'm hyped guys, I'm super hyped. Yo, it's crazy to think that these guys came out four years ago. Like I just said it, but that's wild, man. That's wild, but we just had the seventh anniversary and they came out for the third anniversary. So yeah, it's been four years. It's been four years. And they've aged very well. You know, they, they have aged quite well for being as old as they are. Like I said, man, I still use them all the time. And now I'll be using them even more with the EZAs. So that's all there really is to it, guys. There's no details about, um, you know, obviously what they do yet. Uh, we'll have to wait for the Twitter reveal, you know, probably in a week or so. And uh, once that comes out, I'll definitely keep you guys informed. But for now, all you gotta know is that uh, Vegito and Gogeta from the third anniversary are getting their Extreme Z Awakenings. And a big shout out to DBS Hype on Twitter for posting this scan. And that is your Dokkan V Jump update for this month. Let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about it. And uh, if you have any predictions for what the EZAs will look like, then definitely leave them in the comments. Um, that's it, guys. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.